Welcome back, everybody, to another episode. Teddy is back. It's so glorious. Back. Back. Oh, look, back, back, I'm dun, pretty dun, blind, that's all I think. He is back. Mm. Tell a friend. But you all friend. know him. If you can't find someone like that, Shady's back. I don't think I can help you. Oh? Like I said, we're not expecting much from you. Well then, oh. okay. Mm -hmm. Well, the main thing is, it's hard to get pumped about this without someone nice and fuzzy around. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, what Kanji said. <laughs> uh, okay. I'm just like, oh, uh, nice. uh, uh, all right. <laughs> all right. Now that the band's back together, let's take it from the top. Starting tomorrow. Mm. Got wasting days here. In a while, but I'll do my best to look for him too. Leave it to Fuzzy. Nah. Take another step toward the truth. Fuzzy Wuzzy was a bear. <laughs> I feel like Yu-Gi-Oh literally didn't chime in once during that entire no, conversation. She didn't. <laughs> what? I don't think Chie did either. No, I think Chie chimed a few times. Mm. The Secret of Truth Social Link has reached level six. Your power cave persona of the judgment arcana has grown And but, flown. Nah, since you'll start fresh again tomorrow. Each of you decided to go home for today. I wanna buy supplies, man. Supplies, man. Life bottles. That's not in this game. Hmm. Hmm. It would be best to go to sleep early. Get ready for tomorrow's exploration. Manticore tears. M Manticore? Yes. <laughs> Manticore, Manticore, Manticore. <laughs> people don't. I don't think people anyone understands what you're referencing there. Mm. And I don't have the power to add it in anymore. Mm. You fully recovered from yesterday's event. You go to the TV world with everyone after school. Right, school's After still a thing. School. What about yesterday? School wasn't a thing yesterday. Yeah, we, we just went straight into TV. Yeah, we're like, it fuck it. Why, I, no. What? Why couldn't we just do that today? I don't know. We're trying to catch a murder <laughs> detective person. Yes. Teddy? It, it. I'll give it a try, but if Rise chan couldn't find him, I really doubt someone with a dried up nose like me will be much help. Watch him spot it instantly. Hmm. <laughs> Oh, Jesus, Teddy. Using the force? I do smell a dachi baby in here. Oh, but the a dachi baby? Is completely covering up his scent. Hmm? Teddy, you can't do it either? If your powers combine. When you look at me with those eyes, I get this feeling. I've got to sniff him out no matter what. Hmm? This is my time to shine. Hmm. <laughs> Increase the expression. <laughs> That's one hell of a face, go. I'm getting something. Oh? Turning Super Saiyan now. Jesus. <laughs> Didn't last time he did that, he just like, unleashed a nuke upon a shadow? Yeah. <laughs> Man. Quit wandering around. You better not flake out on us again. Huh? I sense it from this away. Onwards. Is it Dust the away! <laughs> Just the way! Um... How do I put it? It's kinda hazy, but at the same time, it feels like I've got a whopper on the line! Hmm? I don't get it. <laughs> Very suspicious. This definitely smells... Like Burger King. <laughs> but Just show up in the middle of the Burger King, like, what? what, what? Does that I remember right. That's where Sensei Yosuke and Chie-chan came from when I met them for the first time. I thought he was where we did it. When we first... where was that? That was here. Oh, you mean that creepy-ass room where all the faces on the posters were cut out? Yep, there's someone there. Mm. But we didn't meet Teddy there. Teddy, you really yeah. are amazing. It was just dumb luck. It's because that's where I no, first because you turned two percent. Sensei and the others. Uh, <laughs> that's why it kind of smelled over there. Ah, oh, I see. Wait, did you say it smelled? Ah. Wasn't that the room where Yosuke had to go to the bathroom and? Do you think my still even be there? Huh? You're saying he peed his pants there? He did not. He peed on the wall. Wait, didn't he not go? Oh, you lie so bad. Dude, I did not piss my pants. Yeah, didn't he end up not yeah. going? Yeah. Gee, 
random rumors about stuff like that. Ah, uh, well, it happened so long ago. My memory's kind of fuzzy, you know? Hmm, of course. Mm, yeah, 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 right, right. Okay, guys, enough fuzziness. Follow me, the master of fuzzy logic. Hmm. <laughs> I think he's, he's reaching his fuzzy threshold here. Everyone's like, oh. <laughs> of course. <laughs> I haven't heard you crack up in a while, Yukiko. Though I really mm. wonder sometimes about your sense of humor. Ha ha ha! has returned to the group. Thanks to Teddy. Yes. You take another step toward the truth. The truth. Truth. And a judgment. Head. Like every episode, we get like two ranks off. Which doesn't understand why there's seven. Unless there's another one coming! <laughs> it looks like someone's trying to level my personas! <laughs> oh. Just a random guy walking. Oh! Like a random guy with like a bunch of personas to fuse materials. Like, oh. damn. <laughs> Just a bunch of cards. Like, oh. Hey, just got a deck of them. Oh, ooh. A paintball war happening here? I noticed her first, and she just had to run off and have an affair. Ooh. Who's there? <laughs> oh, it's you guys. Rawr. You're very. Ah, oh, Jesus! Some fucking bug eyes you got there. Give it up. Just give it up. Give it up! Put your hands up! <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. You're not lying your way out of this one, damn it! Just being here proves it. Answer mm -hmm. us. You're the one who threw Ms. Yamano into the TV, aren't you? <laughs> it was an accident. She started struggling. What else was I supposed to do? That aside, we'll put that on pause for now. But you know what I just don't understand? Mm. Unless he threw Ms. Yamano in, in the hospital TV. Yeah. How did he get here? How did he find his way here? He probably knows more about this world than we do. Uh, yeah, but then Teddy uh, can barely remember. The only places he can remember how to get to is his world that he made, which is the same for everybody else, and the beginning one where he met us. Mm -hmm. That was because it was important to him. No other place he knows how to get to. So how did Adachi do it without any scanning powers? Mm -hmm. And that, that just sounded creepy. I called her out to the lobby because I wanted to ask her something, and then she started getting hysterical on me. What a grumpy face. Hmm. <laughs> oh. Cutscene. Maybe. Oh no. Well, kind of. Who are you? And what's this something important you called me out here for? Oh, right, so it's a different TV. So how did he get there? What they say on the news isn't true, is it? All that talk about you having an affair and whatnot, it's all a lie, right? Why do I have to explain myself to you? Is that a good point? I see. So you don't deny it. You caught my eye. But it turns out you're another worthless bitch. Well then. What's wrong with you? Don't make me call for help. <sighs> shut up. Shut up. Shut up. <laughs> Such a stupid <laughs> face. I think you need to see what it's like to fear for your life. I'll get your head straight. <laughs> what are you going to do? Shove. Oh, no. no. Ah! She, she fell in. <laughs> wow. So people can go completely inside. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> so he didn't know people could go completely inside. Yeah. Which means he knew about it beforehand. Wow. Good thing for me, no one else was around there in the middle of the night. That happened in our lobby? I learned about the Midnight Channel through some rumor. You hear a lot of fishy stories like that on the force. But it was pure coincidence that I touched the screen and discovered my power. Mm. I burst out laughing when I found out. I knew right away that this was going to be interesting. So you tested it out on Mayumi Yamano? Nah, it was nothing like that. I'm a very sincere fellow. 
I was just trying to punish the stupid bitch a little for betraying me. Yeah, putting them inside the TV was never the plan. But you know, both Mayumi and that dippy high school girl struggled for no reason. Dippy. You were responsible for Saki Senpai's death. I thought we came to that conclusion yeah. already. <laughs> Saki? Oh yeah. Her name was Saki Kunishi, or something like that. At first I just called her in because of work related stuff. Her being the one who found Mayumi's body and all. And naturally, if there was any chance she'd seen something, I'd need to know, right? So I was all set to be a nice guy to her. And then that bitch. Mm -hmm. What's this about anyways? Didn't you call me in for more questions? Well, we'll get to that. But you know, I saw you this afternoon. Hmm? You were getting pretty cozy with that Namatame. Ooh, damn. Huh. So I'm not good enough for you. Well, hmm? I know how to deal with girls like you. No! Why are them putting them in? Like, we you know. These high school girls today. This world's gone straight to shit. When I was in school, I wasn't allowed to do anything but study my ass off. I was supposed to be the best of the best, and instead they stick me in the boonies. But I guess I got this sweet power to make up for it. <laughs> Life's not so bad after all. Get on your knees and beg, and maybe I'll let you out. Yes. Hmm? <laughs> yeah, like that'll happen. <laughs> As if I'd walk into a death trap like that. But when not people notice he took her in and then never she she never yeah. left out? Like, that doesn't make any a little sense. Suspicious. Unless nobody reported it. Was a lot it, like, easier the second time. time. High school girls are thinner, you know, lighter. You son of a bitch! Come on, give me a break. I didn't know it was dangerous inside the TV. It's not like I was trying to kill them. I mean, I'm sure they hit on Namatame, not the other way around. The council secretary will one day rise to public office himself. Mayumi and that high schooler were just gold digging. They got exactly what they deserved. I didn't do anything wrong at all. Oh, he's crazy as fuck. Yep. You knew from what happened to Mayumi Yamano that people die in here. <sighs> so what if I knew? Hmm. What else did you call? No one. You already know it was Namatame who did the rest. He called the police in the middle of the night just after they found that Saki girl's body. The rest of the force had their hands full with the double homicide, and it happened that I was the one who took the call. Mm. Namatame said the police refused to take him seriously. You were responsible for that then. Oh, quite the contrary. If anyone else had taken the call, sure. But I actually did believe him, you know. Hmm? can protect her listen there's no way the police are going to make a move based on a fantasy story like that <laughs> it does sound interesting though mm -hmm. but oh I have an idea if you really want to save her that much why not do it yourself like you could shelter her somewhere someplace where no one could find her hmm where no one could find her? Sketchy best. Save her yourself. You can do it. I'm busy, so I'm hanging 
Gave him an idea. Yep. Crazy bastard. Mm. <laughs> Isn't that amazing? Of all the people who could have received Namatami's call, it ended up being me. Talk about luck! All I did was give him a little push. And he completely bought into his vision of this world. The more people you guys saved, the more he kidnapped. Both sides had the best of intentions, so the game of cat and mouse would never end. <laughs> it was awesome. You gotta be shitting me! But then <laughs> the question is, how, why do they show on screen then? Yeah, but like who's showing the image? Yeah. Why? What reasons could you have for doing that? <laughs> reasons? None, really. I could do it, that's all. And it was fun. I guess that's my reason. You murdered people just for the fun of it? That's something that's like I would do. Come on. All I did was put people in here. I didn't murder them. And Namatami did most of it. I had nothing to do with any of you. You're just dodging the blade. Mm hmm Yeah? And how would you prove it? He put people inside TVs? <laughs> you think the police are that stupid? What a jerkwad! Mm. This is accurate. I do admit, though, I never thought you guys would manage to track me down. I like that. Games like this gotta have surprises or they get boring fast. It's like when I dealt with that Kubo kid. That was fun, too. Mm -hmm. Then, you mean to say that Mitsuo Kubo's disappearance was your doing as well? I did sense something odd in his course of action. If he had special powers and wanted attention, why resort to a regular copycat crime? But that wasn't the case. Kubo had no such powers. In fact, he was thrown in by you. Am I correct? Mm hmm. It had been a while since I last put someone inside the TV, so I really got a kick out of that one. Why did you do that? To make you think it was him? And how come Mitsuo didn't say anything about you? <laughs> you think that didn't occur to me before I did it? Come on, I'm a detective. I led him through to a room at the station with the TV, switched off the lights, and did it quick while he was still startled. As long as he didn't see me push him in and no one else did either, no one would believe him, even if he survived. Of course, I don't think the Kubo kid ever figured out what happened. <laughs> hmm. Wait, the police station? Yeah. He turned himself in pretty quick, actually. This was back when we didn't even know enough to issue a search warrant. But the other officers decided it was just a prank, so they pawned him off on me. I didn't blame them. I mean, a kid coming and saying, I did it all, it was me. Who'd believe him? But it looked bad. I didn't think anyone would come forward and take the blame for all the incidents. The police were desperate dependent on anyone. If this kid really did it, they might have announced the case was closed. And if that happened, Namatama would stop saving people. I couldn't let that happen, or the game would be over. Mm -hmm. That's why I told the others I sent he him home. He is crazy. I came up with the idea to put him inside the TV on the spot. The game would be over? You threw him in just so your fun wouldn't end? You gotta have some excitement in life, don't you agree? But then you guys put your foot in it yet again and ruined my fun. Thanks to you, Kubo was arrested again, and everyone acted like he was the true culprit behind it all. <sighs> Couldn't they see how badly he copied the crime scene? Pretty bad, eh? It worked out weapon. in the end, though, because good old Namatame kept saving people. I guess the guy started to develop some kind of messiah complex, huh? <laughs> what an idiot. This is all a game to you. How dare you murder people? Murder Saki Senpai for such a stupid reason! You bastard! I'll never forgive you! Do you think he cares? Yeah. You can keep your forgiveness. Our world will probably become just like this place soon enough anyways. Didn't you notice? The fog's leaking out. Everything on that side's pretty much screwed. 
The two worlds will merge soon, and then there will be no God. difference, no sides anymore. Man, Adachi is crazy. But we'll be dealing with that in the next episode. Don't forget to like, subscribe, or comment on the bottom side below. We'll see you guys next time. Peace. Peace.